What's up everyone? Brett here. Just wanted to address something I've had sent in my email a couple times by people I can tell that aren't subscribers. Um, they see what I have here in front of you. They're like, wow, he's got to have a lot of money, makes a lot, does all sorts of things. Well, for me, that's the furthest from the truth. See, I'm disabled. I'm on disability. I don't get a whole lot of money. I'm just now going to be starting a part-time job that will help with RC stuff. But everything I've done here, I've busted my tail for. Or in the case of the night hauler in the green man truck and then the triple axle flatbed I got those after an insurance settlement after being rear-ended that was my gift to myself after all that garbage the other semi trucks I bought a guy out of the hobby he made me a smoking deal on multiple trucks and all kinds of parts which I've made multiple trucks out of I've also given away some parts I've also sold some parts from that lot I should specify I'm still using parts from it as for buying that lot I sold my rear-wheel drive drift vehicles because I wasn't using them and that's how I got that stuff. My RMX I used to have, I bought that also after my settlement. So yeah, I don't make a lot of money. I don't have a lot of money. I go paycheck to paycheck like a lot of you. I guess it's just annoying when someone assumes something like that. It just drives me nuts. Um, like in the case of the Aeromax I got, you can see the chassis next to the man. I'm making payments on that to a buddy of mine. Other stuff, I'll sell one thing, I'll buy something else. Some things I have people want that I'm not willing to let go of yet. Like as you can see, down underneath the motorhome, the white Toyota Hilux truck. That's a street jam all-wheel drive drifter. Lots of people want that body. I'm not willing to let the thing go. Other things, I've had major deals made where I couldn't pass them up, like the semi-lot with the other stuff. I know this is just kind of a nonsense type video, doesn't make a lot of sense to some. But seeing as I've gotten that email a couple different times and most recently just about a week ago, and like I said, I know it's not from a subscriber. So they don't pay attention, they don't know everything about me. But just wanted to clear the air. Alright guys. Thanks for watching. Listen to my little rant. Have a good one. Later.